Hey guys, Kevin here, wanting to talk with you guys about this new series I'm really excited to jump into. It's one I've been personally wanting to do with my walk with the Lord for a little while, so I decided what better way than to just bring you guys along with what I'm doing. Uh, this series is going to be called The Commands of Jesus. It's one that has stemmed out of the, ch the verse John 14, 15, where Jesus says, if you love me, you will obey me. When I hear that command from my Lord, I, I'm like, well, then I need to hear what he is saying and then respond in obey. Uh, Jesus, when he, he taught, he would often shorten up the Old Testament to give it a fresh new nugget for us to be able to walk with and to understand. And in my understanding of it, this is where Jesus giving us the condensed version of the Shema, which is a prayer that faithful Jews would say on a daily basis from the commands of Moses out of Deuteronomy 6. Uh, I'm going to post a video because the guys over at Bible Project did a phenomenal job of being able to um, summarize what this is. So look for that here. Um, I'll figure out how to make it connect so you guys can grab that. Um, but it's a prayer of meditation and dedication to keeping oneself fixed on the Lord as priority in anything that is going on in their daily life. And so as we go about this, um, I want us to figure out how we can bring about the Lord's commands, all 49 of them, into our daily life. And it's okay if you don't understand where they are, where they come from, that there even were so many commands. Uh, we're all learning and growing in our relationship with the scriptures and how they unfold into our lives. Um, these are commands that are not easy all the time. Um, most of the time, otherwise, they wouldn't be commands from the Lord for um, showing ourselves as set apart and following after him. Uh, I mean, I fail at these daily. Um, I do it from an attitude, a heart, a mind, a body, whatever it is, something I may forget to do, even though I know it's my duty to do. Um, I fail at these all the time. I'm guessing you can relate and fail at, and you fail at these quite often as well. The question is, what do we do from here? How do we obey the commands of Jesus if we constantly fail at them? Uh, one of the things that's encouraging um, is when we look down and break at break the scriptures down at how they were written we can understand a little bit more of it. Because you gotta understand the Bible wasn't written in English and I'm not gonna go nerding out all the time crazy on language with you guys, but it's something that when I do see it, I find it important to point it out. Um, as I was studying this and getting ready for this, uh, the key word keep came into mind when it says you will keep my commands. And so when we look at this, it's important to see that it's word keep doesn't mean Faithfully carry out every letter to the law to the detail, and if you don't, then you've messed it up, so why even keep trying? No, this idea of keep is to keep it beforehand. The word is tereo, and it means to keep it in front of your face, to fixate on it, to hold fast to it as much as you are able to. As we keep things before our face, it's hard to look at something else. Right now, I'm looking at a camera talking to you guys when there's a whole mess of things behind the camera, but my goal is to keep my eyes on the camera so that way I can talk to you and you guys can hear that rather than me worrying about the ladder over there, the stack of chairs, the ping pong table that I need to fix, all these different things that could be distracting, but I'm staying focused on my goal and my mission to communicate to you right now. And that's that same thing as we keep the commands of Jesus before our face, then we get to have that be our primary objective. Everything else we might get to, but the primary is just that, primary. And so I want us to go ahead and spend this next season digging in deep to the commands of Jesus. I wanna be able to hold fast to them so that way I can better walk in my relationship with my Lord. And so I can truthfully stand before him and say, I've done all that I can do um, because I love you and I want to have this relationship with you and I want to experience your blessings in my life. So for this next little segment, I'm going to go ahead and read the commands to you. Now, if this is something that's not interesting to you, you can go ahead and swipe over and do whatever you want to go scroll and troll on an Instagram or YouTube, but right now I want to take a minute and just read all 49 of those commands. Repent, follow me, rejoice, 
let your light shine. Honor God's law. Be reconciled. Do not lust. Keep your word. Go the second mile. Love your enemies. Be perfect. Practice secret disciplines. Lay up treasures. Seek God's kingdom. Judge not. Do not cast pearls. Ask, seek, knock. Do unto others. Choose the narrow way. Beware of false prophets. Pray for laborers. Be wise as serpents. Fear not. Hear God's voice. Take my yoke. Honor your parents. Beware of leaven. Deny yourself. Despise not little ones. Go to offenders. Beware of the covetous. Forgive offenders, honor marriage, be a servant, be a house of prayer, ask in faith, bring in the poor, render to Caesar, love the Lord, love your neighbor, await my return, take, eat, and drink, be born again. Keep my commands. Watch and pray. Feed my sheep. Baptize my disciples. Receive God's power. Make disciples. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to get into your word and to let it illuminate what we need to see in our lives. God, I thank you that you are not some statue that we just pray to, but that you are the living and active God. And I pray, Lord, that you would help us to see where you are at work. I pray that you would help us to feel and know where you are refining us through the study of your scripture. God, I thank you that we get to do this in this way. I thank you that even in the midst of this chaos, God, we get to fixate on you because you will never change. You will never leave. And Lord, you are always, always desiring to spend more time with us, God. So may we dedicate this season to you. And all God's people said, amen. See you guys.